Hi, today let's see how to add a donation form to your WordPress website. So if you have a WordPress website and you want to collect donation based on the user input like the amount they want to pay then this video is for you. And we will be able to display a donation form inside a regular page or a blog post or inside sidebar or even in the footer. So based on your needs you can display a donation form and you can collect the donation amount based on your need or the user input. And if you don't have a WordPress website, then you can go to my channel and you can watch my previous videos and you will be able to create a website within minutes. And now to add donation form, we will be using this website. This is built using WordPress as you can see. So for that, we will install a simple free plugin. So for that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. And here we will go to plugins, add new. And here search for KOWP. You will see this plugin GiveWP donation plugin and fundraising platform. Just install and activate this. And once you activate the plugin, you will see a welcome wizard. So you can click on start setup. And here you can choose your website type, either you are individual, organization, or other. So let's choose individual here. And what are you fundraising for? So if I click this, here we can choose a category. So let's say this is other and then if you want to join GiveWP community you can click this or you can just this. Here you can choose the country, province and currency. So for that I'll choose Netherlands and we'll choose its currency. This is based on your needs from which country you are you can select that. Then click continue. And here you can set donation goals, donation comments, terms and conditions, and all these. But we will see this later on. We will continue. And again continue. And if you need any of these add-ons like recurring donations, donor code fees, PDF receipts, then you can buy these add-ons and these are premium add-ons. Let us just continue with the free version for now. So we have done the first configuration. And for the second one, we can connect our PayPal or Stripe to collect donation. So to do that, you can just click on connect to PayPal. So here you can collect PayPal donation and PayPal standard. So here I can go to account country and can choose Netherlands. And then we'll click on connect with PayPal. This will open up my PayPal account and then I can connect it quickly. Then I'll write my PayPal email and we'll choose my region. We'll click next. And here we will set up a password for our business account. So then click on next. We will select type of company. So this is for, so I'll choose non-profit. And we'll click next. Then I'll have to fill up these details. And after writing the details, scroll down and click I agree. Then next one. This is just for creating a PayPal business account. If you already have this, then you don't have to fill up all these details. And here you can see that we must have to add a supervisor and for that we submitted the data that will take some time in processing. But uh, we can do it later and we will connect our PayPal later on. So let's close this and uh, let's see how we can create the form. So for that we'll go to all forms and here we have this donation form by default. We can just edit this and this is the form template which is multi-step form. You can deactivate this if you want and in visual appearance you can select the primary color, the primary font and so on. So we will select our own color here and for the primary font let's choose this one. And if you want to display decimal amounts, you can disable and enable this. And this is the step 1 introduction, so you can enable this or disable this. This is the headline. You can change this and you can also change the description and the image. Before changing anything, let's quickly view this form. So we will just update this and let's view the form and a new tab. And this is the form as you can see, we have our title, the description an image and then we have donate now button if i click this 
this will take me to the values where I can select 10, 25 and these values I can also put a custom amount so I'll click this and we'll write something like 120 and then we'll continue and add your information so as you can see our test mode is enabled to go live we will have to add our paypal or any other payment so let's scroll down here we will just put our name email then we can select test donation that we will disable later on or we can select donation and offline donation and this is our summary and then we'll donate now now let's see how we can quickly change these things so for that we will edit the form again and let's change the title and the description this is just the title and for the description i'll put this and uh, i'll choose another image for this so add file and i'll upload a new image and you can also change the donate now button text i have text for this so I'll put this and this is the header label like choose the amount and how much you want to spend if you want to change these texts you can also do it so I'll change these also and same goes for all these text you can just change the text and then donate now so I'll change this to this and that's it now let's update this and now you can go to donation options and this is a multi-level donation you can select this one or you can set a donation amount for this like the one i showed you that 10 20 50 this was multi-step or multi-level donation let me show you again if i go back these amounts these are multi-level and this is a custom amount if you want you can enable and disable this so if you want to disable these things then you can just disable this here you can also set you can also set donation limit like minimum and maximum amount and custom amount text so you can change this text also so i think i have text for this and the donation levels so these are the prices you can see here 10 25 50 you can increase decrease the values here so let's scroll down and uh, you can also add a new level so if you want you can add another value here and that's it then you can go to form fields and here you can change the form fields which you see here so all of these are set to global options and you can change these things in global options that we will cover in the setting tab and you can set registration for this so if you want you can select login user only and inside donation goal you can set a donation for the donation and this is for terms and condition you can enable this or you can customize this or disable this and this is form grid so you can select the color you can just customize this based on your need and this is offline donation you can enable and disable this so if you donate with offline donation so if you don't need this you can just disable this and these are email notifications and you can set this in the setting tab here so let's quickly update this and uh, as we have this form if you want you can display this inside a page a blog post inside sidebar or footer for that you will just go to all forms and you will have to copy its short code so let's copy this now you can go to pages and you can edit any of your page and you can paste this short code let's say i want to display this on my home page so i'll edit this page with elementor you can use any type of page builder or the normal gutenberg editor and to display the form you can search for short code drag this anywhere and put that short code and that's it that is how you can display the form and you can notice that we have changed this text and the image and the donate now button color so this is our donation form now 
now let's check the paypal connection i'll go to donation settings payment gateways and as i said we can connect stripe paypal and apply donations so here you can choose the donation like we have test donation enabled we can enable offline donation so on and so forth so let's go to paypal and let's try this again and this is okay let me translate this allow paypal to link to your account give wp so yes agree and we will use our existing account next one we will click i agree and next one again we will select the supervisor now we can select this one and click next one and now you can click this back to give wp this will refresh the page and now as you can see our paypal has been connected successfully you can just confirm this and that's it that is how you can connect paypal and you can go to settings under donations and then you can go to payment gateways where you can connect stripe paypal or you can have apply and donations you can also enable and disable the test mode here if i enable this then you will see another message here and here you can decide the payment gateways that you want to use and let's say i want to use paypal credit card paypal donation and paypal standard so i have enabled these and for the default one i'll choose this one now you will save changes and if i refresh this page you can notice that we have changed the colors so this is our title the description we have changed the image and this is the donate now button if i click this again i can choose an amount here let's say this one and we'll continue and now i can enter my name last name I can donate with PayPal, donate with credit card, donate with Stripe credit card. So as you can see this one is disabled if I choose this one then this is a PayPal credit card. As you can see we can write our number and all these. Then we can scroll down and click on this. So this is how you can make a donation form in WordPress and then how you can collect payments using PayPal or Stripe or our client donations. Still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.